Okay, so this one is meet the man who doesn't believe it's dangerous to eat raw meat. This is going to be extremely disgusting, so I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here, but let's just click the play button and see how it goes. Come on, man. What you got? Daniel! Has a Daniel! What a guy. Except for one nasty habit. Oh. Daniel has been obsessed with raw meat for the past oh. six years. He feeds his habit four times a week. With kilo after what if they have like salmonella or something like that? That's super dangerous. Fresh from the packaging, and he even eats raw chicken. Oh no, not the chicken! It isn't really normal for people to have the eating habits that Daniel does. Every year, 76 million people contract foodborne illnesses. Yeah. Of these people, 375,000 are hospitalized. And Legit. How is this man still walking? Die. I'm really concerned that Daniel doesn't care that... Because isn't the point of death. cooking food to get rid of, like, In the fact, diseases Daniel and stuff? laughs at the thought of getting sick. I don't know it's how he's alive. worth it to eat raw meat, even though there's consequences. Consequences are minor. I like to pull it. I like to see the muscles. There's no real reason behind it besides I like the taste and the texture. This guy like is butter. a demon. Daniel's love of raw food started when he was a child it wouldn't surprise me if he's a cannibal we not gonna lie Daniel this scares me eat raw biscuit dough and pancake batter it was one of the many okay things okay, 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 okay let me stop you there pancake batter is good okay that's fine that's fine. but raw meat raw meat is different you can't compare raw meat to pancake batter that just that's not fair part in a strict military household well daniel has always just been a little bit different Particularly when it came to writing poems, stories. Hey, being different is okay. We're allowed to be different. That's what makes us unique people. You don't want us to be the same robot-esque person that is exactly the same like the next guy. Unique is good. Don't flame him for being unique. That's not nice. Fiction. My father is always pushing me, wanting better, and kind of stressing accomplishments and goals and discipline and i feel like i'm kind of unique and different from other people while daniel's brother That's followed fine. in their father's I'm different. footsteps by joining i'm well different than the next person daniel next to me chose to pursue a degree in liberal arts instead a decision not embraced by his family my family didn't really support me in writing poetry they just never really cared. It, it's poetry he's not hurting anybody I don't understand why families can be so against certain things. Like, families might be against maybe your child doing ballet. Your, your family could be against you doing poetry, music. I don't understand why. At the end of the day, like, would you rather them go out, do drugs? Or would you rather them be happy and do the things that they enjoy? I don't understand why some, like, parents are, like, super strict. Cared much, I guess. Once he left the strict confines of his parents' house, Daniel began experimenting with more raw foods. It was just a relaxing That's kind of just bad parenting then, because he would never have been addicted to meat, especially was, raw meat. Nice. If his parents Soon, helped Daniel guard him. Daniel was indulging his craving for raw meat several times a week, but he only shared his secret with his brother. I thought it was just something he was trying out, but then it started progressing to three or four Ooh. times a week. And that's when I really started oh. to get concerned. After graduation, Daniel took a job as a government analyst and finally gained some respect from his family. It wasn't rewarding. I was dying a little every day. I hate that. So Daniel I eventually hate, chucked it. I hate the fact this man took a job that I guess he didn't really enjoy, but he took the job just to make like his par his parents be proud of him. That's kind of messed up. I'm going to be completely honest. His job in to pursue writing full time. I want to make some kind of a difference in the world, you know? That's why I like the whole creative angle. You can use That's why he likes poetry, because poetry is creative. Daniel Good on him. now spends his time doing what he loves most Oof. writing, working out, and searching for inexpensive ways to feed his obsession. I like bargains, and I always look for the cheapest cut. I don't think he does any type of preparation to it, washing it whatsoever. Straight out the packet and into his mouth. Has begged him to give up raw meat, horrified by the risks Daniel. That's is crazy. Taking. Daniel disregards any 
health advice he gets regarding the raw meat that he consumes. Some products may contain bacteria that that's, can cause illness. That's the point of why you cook it, right? Because of all the bacteria. Like, the reason we cook meat on a barbie or we cook it on a stovetop or whatever, microwave, is because when you cook it and heat it up, that gets rid of all the bacteria and stuff. So the fact he's not doing that is he's putting it straight into his gob. That's just, that's so foul. I'm surprised that, you know, he's honestly alive. Especially if he's been doing this since, you know, a young age-esque. If the product is cooked improperly, whatever. I mean, what doesn't kill you? Whatever. Ah. Oh. never gotten sick from eating raw meat, ever. The fact he's just choking the meat, it, it icks me, dude. It gives me the ick. I've been doing it for six years now. Six mm. years? Oh my God. I just God. really don't want my brother to end up dying from that one bad piece of meat it's gonna happen sooner or later daniel hi there uh what's up <laughs> i'm dr mike dow mike dow nice Pleasure. to meet you jj virgin good Pleasure. to meet you Pleasure. the virgin is back baby 15, doing my usual thing and now here it comes my brother these like doctors and just totally took me by surprise dude what's going on the reason these people are here is because i called them about how you like to eat raw meat I don't know if you really know how much this can affect your health, so they want to help you. Oh, okay, but I don't think I need help. I really do hope that they can just strike some chord with Daniel, but I know it's going to be hard. So I'm hearing that you're not convinced at all that this could be dangerous to you. That's absolutely right. You're making it's a joke of dangerous. all of this that could kill you. What's up with that? I don't think What's it's up with that? a deal. Driving's more dangerous, I think. Well, you know, things no are shot. You wouldn't drive on the wrong side of the street. No. And I hear a lot of these rationalizations, and all the rationalizations are geared towards you continuing to eat raw meat. That is correct. Absolutely. So it sounds like what you need is some information. Would you be willing to come with us so we can show you a few things and possibly change your mind? All right, but you got a big chore ahead of you. I'll just say that. You ain't going to change. Like they're talking down to me. It felt like a fight with me against three people. They were attacking me, not just my eating habits. Changing a habit after a long period of time is extremely tough, so he ain't gonna change, no matter how much someone tries. Six years of eating sh nothing but raw meat. He ain't gonna change his habit overnight. He ain't gonna change his habit over a month. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. They can try as much as they want. He might, he might, I don't know. I, I don't even know how he's gonna pretend to fix this. Cook it, maybe? <laughs> is he gonna cook it? I don't know. I'm at higher risk for disease the more raw meat that you eat. This dude needs to take some tests. Imagine how many diseases and stuff this man has in his body. The oh Jesus. Well, that's that's one of the craziest ones I've seen so far. What was that? Meet the man who doesn't believe it's dangerous to eat raw meat. Well, we met him. He's a strange human. I don't think he's gonna stop. He's gonna continue doing what he's doing until he dies. I think he's very confident in that. And I didn't even like, I'm sure there might be like a full episode somewhere, but this is just like a bit of a, a 10 minute teaser. But I'm sure they will try and teach him by, you know, using a stove. Which honestly, I'd be very surprised if he has a stove because he never uses it. So, hey, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know how it's going to help him with this. Sometimes it's easier to just let them do their thing if that's what makes them happy.